Hello, my name is Cody Kellner, and I'll be talking to you today about my business proposal for a sports research and statistics service. Some information about myself. Well, I've got a bachelor's in business administration uh, from Tarleton State University, and I also have an MBA from Tarleton. I also have eight years of experience as an adjunct instructor at Tarleton State, and I have eight years of experience within the federal government, the last three as a supervisor, and I have eight years of combined public relations experience in college football and the NFL. I also have five years of specialty statistics experience with Fox Sports, and I've been a contributor to the college football playoff and bowl championship series since 2013, and I've been a college football pollster since 2002. Now, the target problem uh, within the sports uh, information industry is that there's inaccurate statistics being kept in, kept in college sports, specifically in football. Uh, there's currently many many uh, manual tracking programs in place, but this increases the chances of inaccurate information. Some people uh, like to just keep the information by hand, tabulate it by hand. Some use special spreadsheets. Uh, many different inconsistent methods out there right now. Now, the vision of the organization is to be the primary source of statistical tracking for college sports. But the, in the short run, the vision is going to be to focus on college football, but to eventually grow to more sports. Now, the mission of the organization uh, is to be a statistics service that serves and caters the needs of college football bowl games, athletic programs, along with having a uniformed and timely method of tabulating game statistics and all-time records. Now, again, we'll be looking at information for, for a current season or for a current game, but also we're going to provide services that, that's able to compile all-time databases as well for a certain school or even a bowl game. Now the business model is going to be very similar to what the Elias Sports Bureau provides to professional sports and that is we're going to create online profiles and services for each of our clients based on the needs that they're wanting. Uh, some people may want certain special graphics for uh, television purposes, some may want uh, different types of information presented different ways for the media. So. That's going to be our niche in that we're going to know what our client wants, but we're going to be able to put a spin to it that fits exactly what they're wanting. Now, the venture is designed to offer universities a uniform method of tabulating individual season records for football. But again, each university is going to have this online profile that they will be able to access 24 hours a day. Now, the marketing plan along with pricing is this. Now with the bowl games, they will be charged $2,500 for each season for, for our services. Whereas athletic programs will be charged $10,000 each season. Now please keep in mind that for a college football team in a given season, they're going to play anywhere between 12 to 14 bowl games, or 12 to 14 regular season games. Uh, we'll also get our name out through advertisements on uh, video boards during games radio interviews, television interviews, and demonstrations during media events. Now, of these bullets, I think demonstrations during media events, I think this is going to be the strongest way to present our information and to present our product to, to our potential clients. Because we're actually going to get to show them how our product works and how it's applied and what the final product actually looks like. We're also going to do free test trials with athletic programs during the offseason and other sports. And so, again, we're going to focus on football in the short run, but in the long run, we would like to get more involved in other sports. But this is a two-fold approach. We're going to work with other programs to maybe build a base with potential clients and establishing a relationship with them. But at the same time, we're also going to experiment with other, uh, other sports to see how our services can maybe fill needs in those areas. Now, with the competitive advantages, uh, our company does have a competitive advantage in that we already have a, a relationship and a niche with the College Football Playoff and Bowl Championship Series. We've been working with them since 2013 in terms of keeping their information. Uh, we recently made the record book for the College Football Playoff, and we also have all-time information regarding the BCS standings and College Football Playoff standings. And in doing this, we have a uniform method uh, for tracking the all-time information for the BCS in college football playoff. Now the capacity and capital that's going to be required for this is that there will, there will need a, there, we will need approximately $30,000 to start the business. Now this is going to cover uh, office supplies, computer equipment, laptops, printers, um, things of that nature. 
But at the same time, we also need about another 10000 for marketing expenses. Now, our projected income and profits looks like this for the first three years. Now, for 2015, our uh, projected revenues look like they're going to be around 62500 with a net income of 32500 after you take out office expenses and marketing expenses. But for the next two years after that, we, look, we expect to have more clients, therefore increasing our revenue. But going into 2017... I'm looking at us being at a point where we're going to have so many clients. Uh, I will eventually need to hire more people on board and uh, have one full-time person that's actually full-time employee that's actually on a salary. Uh, now the idea to this is that uh, we do have a tremendous amount of flexibility with our model, and that we can hire. We're looking at hiring interns to help us out during the season for little or no pay and we're going to create relationships with the universities to where the students can get credit uh, students that are interested in sports management getting the jobs in uh, statistics they're able to help us out get work experience but at the same time they're getting work uh, school credit to where we don't have to pay them for their services and that keeps us in a very flexible position with our payroll therefore making it easier to make a profit now, with the statement of risk and exit strategy, uh, I think our, our risk is extremely low and that our overhead costs and payroll expenses are low because first couple of years we're going to be focusing on uh, having interns on board to help us out with, uh, with our record keeping. Now, the exit strategy is to look at the Elias Sports Bureau and maybe sell our business out to them if we feel that the business is becoming stagnant or if we're in a position where we have to sell off. Hopefully that's not the case, but if we have to, we will look at the Elias Sports Bureau as they're focused more on professional football. We're going to maybe see if they're interested in uh, expanding their services to include college sports. Now the timeline for goals and objectives, the 2015 season we'll be looking at uh, assisting approximately five schools and five bowl games in the first year and then the subsequent years thereafter we're going to be hopefully expanding by about five schools per year and beyond 2017 uh, beyond 2017 I hope we're in a position to where uh, we can focus on sports out other than football Uh, social impact will be monitored and measured in ways such as uh, uh, Facebook and Twitter what we'll be doing is that we're going to be uh, posting a unique, unique and interesting stats on, on Facebook and Twitter each day, trying to keep our uh, followers and our, our fans engaged. But at the same time, uh, we're definitely going to try to put ourselves in a position to where we can create partnerships with our universities and to where they can also market our name to the media and, uh, and just create some more visibility uh, through social media in those ways. Now the plan of action for investors and in universities. Now the CEO will invest thirty thousand into the venture himself, but contributions can come from outside investors. Uh, for an investment of five thousand um, dollars, an investor can receive ten percent ownership in the company. In addition, universities are going to be asked to provide uh, to support our program by offering a uh, course credit to students to serve as interns for our company. I think that's a win-win for the student, for the university, and and for us. So we're going to really try to focus on giving students opportunities to work with our company and to get uh, experiences in sports and to create contacts with these universities and our potential clients. And that's the end of my presentation. I look forward to uh, your questions and to your feedback on Blackboard. And uh, thank you for your time.